election frenzy takes over Manchester University's Students' Union. Queues of students stretched as far as Academy One on Thursday night as they waited to get into the Students' Union bar to watch the 2010 general election results. Campaigners from the university were out from the early hours of Thursday morning, encouraging the typically apathetic student population to get to their polling stations and cast their vote. I spoke to Ben, chairman of the Manchester Debating Union and organizer of the Virgin Voters campaign. So you're here with a stall and, a, and an interesting-looking bike. Yeah, yeah, we've we've got sort of two things going on. We've got the uh, the, the democracy bike, as I like to call it, and that's sort of just being ridden around campus. Um, I think I'm going to do a bit of South Campus, and then hopefully we'll take it down to Owens Park. Uh, in Fallowfields, and generally just get a bit of excitement going, turn the music up, get people interested, and hopefully asking about it. The efforts from people like the Virgin voters seemed to work. There was excitement in the air as students made their way to the polling stations, some for the very first time. student here just about to go in to the polling station here in Fallowfield and cast his vote. Is this the first time you'll be casting a vote in a general election? Yeah. And what are your sort of pre-vote ne- um, feelings? Um, feeling a bit strange really, like I don't really feel comfortable voting for any of the parties but I particularly dislike Labour so um, yeah, just want to do that. Um, Liberal Democrats. And how about yourself? Labour. Okay, so we've got two conflicting votes there. Um, are you nervous about the kind of turnout or are you confident? No, I probably think Nabel will win, so I don't mind if they win. That means good news for you then. (laughs) Despite the buzz around campus throughout the day, no one quite expected the turnout at the Students' Union Bar. Over 400 students turned up for its first ever election night party, with a special bar licence meaning students could drink their way through the results until 6am. I'm here with Lech, the chairman of the um, Politics Society here at Manchester, and we're outside an unusually busy Students' Union bar, so it would appear that tonight's election party's been a success. It's been unbelievable here. Rio de Janeiro pales in comparison. Like, everyone's really active, vibrant, participating here. Everyone here is just, it's basically just expecting an unusual set of results. They want to see electoral reform. We've had an unnaturally high number of Lib Dem supporters tonight, and that kind of reflects the current situation here. So, yeah, fingers crossed, to be honest. And this is the first time uh, a night like this has happened at the, at the university, as far as I'm aware. I mean, was it a bit of a battle to kind of get them to cooperate? Oh, what, if you're a smooth, com- smooth communicator like I am, it, it makes it a lot easier to do, I'll be honest. But, uh, no, it's been a lot of hard work. We've had a lot of people behind the scenes finish off the posters of Britain around here, especially drawing up all the constituencies, which took minimum about two and a half hours to do but everyone seems to be getting in the vibe and they just want to join the celebrations here and despite the people here that are perhaps supporting different parties there's no real sense of conflict everyone sort of seems to be enjoying it or are you sensing a little bit well, of there's there seems to be a consensus about uh hatred for the bmp and ukip here like that's kind of understandable i guess but there's a uh, there's definitely a feeling that we participate and that's all we can give we can only give our own voice and Everyone's happy to be part of it. It's a, it's a wonderful feeling to see people being active. Results came in slowly with celebrations from the Tory, Labour and Lib Dem camps. But the most important result for the student community didn't come in until after the party had ended, with Lib Dem John Leach re-elected as MP for Manchester Withington. At the time of this report, the result of the election stands at a hung parliament, with the Conservative Party holding the most seats. Who exactly is going to make up our next government remains uncertain, but what is clear is that on this occasion, students laughed in the face of apathy. Reporting for Fuse FM, I'm Rosie Baker. Fuse FM. Co. UK.